Gerund in Tagalog. Exercising is good for you. What is the verb here? Very correct. Is. And this is a linking verb, right? It tells what the subject is. So, what is the subject in the sentence? Tama. Exercising. Exercising is an example of a gerund. It is a verb in ing form that works like a noun. So, how do we form a gerund in Tagalog? Pag plus e plus ejercicio. Exercising in Tagalog is pag e ejercicio. Exercising is good for you. Ang pag e ejercicio ay maganda para sa iyo. Ang pag e ejercicio ay maganda para sa iyo. That is formal, right? How do we make this casual? Maganda para sa iyo ang pag e ejercicio. What is body in Tagalog? Katawan. Maganda para sa katawan ang pag e ejercicio. Alam mo ba? Did you know that exercising is also good for the brain? Maganda para sa utak ang pag e ejercicio. What is health in Tagalog? The root word is lusog. If we add a prefix ma in front, what does the prefix ma do again? It turns a root word into an adjective, right? So ma lusog is healthy. If ma lusog is healthy, ka lusugan is health. Maganda para sa kalusugan ang pag -e ejercicio in English, we say, I am healthy, and this food right here is also healthy. We both use healthy, right? Pero, but in Tagalog, malusog is only used for living things, like for a person, for animals. Malusog siya. He or she is healthy. Malusog ang aso ko. My dog is healthy. Sustansya is for non-living things such as food. Sustansya is the root word. This can also be a noun, which means nutrients. With a prefix ma, ma sustansya, nutritious. I am healthy because I eat nutritious food. Malusog ako kasi kumakain ako ng mga masusustansyang pagkain. Ang pagkain ng mga Masusustansyang pagkain ay maganda para sa katawan. So guys, what did you notice here? The word pagkain does not only mean food. This can also be a gerund. Eating, just like earlier, pag e ejercicio, exercising. Pagkain, eating. Now, what did you notice? With pag e ejercicio, we double the first syllable of the root word. But with pagkain, we did not double it. Why is that? For nagma group, there is a repetition of the first syllable. For um verbs, it will just be pag plus the root word. No repetition. Ang pagkain ng gulay at prutas araw-araw ay maganda sa katawan. Eating fruits and vegetables every day is good for the body. Let's see if you can guess drinking. What is drink? Inom. Pag plus inom equals pag inom. Drinking. Drinking this juice every day has helped me lessen my dysmenorrhea because I always have that every month. So, ang pag inom ng juice na ito ay nakakatulong sa dysmenorrhea. Dysmenorrhea in Tagalog is sakit sa puson. But we will have another lesson about that, how to say it hurts in Tagalog. Anong hilig mo? What is your hobby? Ako? Pagbabasa. Pagbabasa ang hilig ko. Reading is my hobby. Pagsusulat. Sulat, write. Pagsusulat ng libro ang hilig ko. Writing a book is my hobby. Ang hilig ko ay pagtuturo. Anong hilig mo? Ang hilig mo ay pag-aaral ng Tagalog. Now, if hilig is hobby, 
This is a noun, right? If we put the prefix ma, ma plus hilig equals ma hilig becomes an adjective, which means fond of. So, aside from saying, ang hilig ko ay, you can just say, mahilig akong magturo. Mahilig akong magbasa. Mahilig akong magsulat. Mahilig akong magsulat ng libro. By the way guys, to those who are asking about my book, Wonderful Life, sa mga nagtatanong tungkol sa librong sinulat ko na Wonderful Life, it will become available again on my website soon. So, abangan nyo guys. Watch out for it. Ang hilig ko ay pagganta. My hobby is singing. Mahilig akong kumanta. I love singing. Kanta is an um verb. Therefore, it will just be pagkanta. No repetition. Ang hilig mo ay pag-aaral ng Tagalog. Mahilig kang mag-aral ng Tagalog. You love learning Tagalog. Or you love studying Tagalog. May nagbebenta ng taho. <laughs> Someone selling taho. Ang pagbabasa araw-araw ay maganda. Reading every day is good. Ang pag-aaral ng Tagalog araw-araw ay maganda para sa'yo. Studying Tagalog every day is good for you. Ang pagkanta ay nakakatuwa. Tuwa is joy or happiness. So, ang pagkanta ay nakakatuwa. Singing makes someone happy. How do we say come and go? Punta. Is it a nagmag or um verb? It's an um verb. Going to the Philippines is what I want to do every December. Because it's an um verb, no repetition. It's just the prefix pag plus punta. Pag punta. Ang pagpunta sa Pilipinas ay ang gusto kong gawin tuwing Desyembre. As a review, in this lesson, we have talked about gerund. A gerund is a verb that ends in ing that works like a noun. Singing, dancing, writing. Number two, we only covered the two groups of verbs here. For nagma group, there is a repetition of the first syllable. Pag eehersisyo, pag babasa. Pag-aaral. But for um verbs, there is no repetition of the first syllable. Pagkain, pag-inom. I did not include the nama group of a verb because that has a different affix. We will cover that on the next lesson. There you have it, gerund in Tagalog. This is Dara from Tutor of Manila. Follow me for more.